Shake, shake! Get off my nuts, please! Oh my God. They are in your nuts! Stop. We're moving up in the world. No more DS shovelware. Instead, we're getting good old Nintendo Wii shovelware. Oh, I love it. This is the Garfield Show, Threat of the Space Lasagna. The Garfield Show just feels like it's translated through like a bunch of different uh, like Google Translate filters. I don't know. Except <laughs> animation. Are we rating Garfield Go? Have, aren't We aren't touching mobile games for the moment. We're just doing console and portable stuff. I played Garfield Go. How is Krungo, it? Krungo knows that because I played it like when we, were, we went out like to get some food one time. And I was just going around. Well, Garfield Go is not super great. Um, you can win uh, free Domino's gift certificates, amongst other things. Let's enlarge this. Oh, it uses Phys X. Oh, you know it's got to be good. We got actual physics going on here. But, uh... <laughs> oh, there yeah. he is. I really hate his CG model. Yeah, the CG modern Garfield is kind of a love it or hate it thing, and many people hate it. I do. Sorry. But Garfield must live on. He must continue to be licensed and franchised until there is no more Garf to give. And thus we end up with the Garfield show, a threat of the space lasagna. All right, next-gen Garf. This is it. Though this is not the most recent Garfield console game, or at least it won't be later this year, because immediately after I decided to do this stream, they announced that Garfield Kart 2 is coming to Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. So there will be a new console Garfield game very soon. For a time, though, this was the last one they made. And let's see how this is. I just want to mention that, Gar that there was a copyright for for in, in in quotes Garfield cartoon show so that's <laughs> just the Garfield cartoon show you know mm -hmm. the Garfield show is a car Garfield cartoon created by YouTube algorithms yes it is what's your name yeah there you go a true Garfield man. name oh we got you can wear fancy stuff look oh, at this so it's uh it's it's fucking uh it's it's TF2 you can dress him up, put him in all kinds of shit. Actually, I just want him with a mohawk. I'm, I've been linked to. Oh, I can click on things again. I'm excited. I'm gonna click on this. He cliff and. Uh... <laughs> Have you seen this one? Whoa, poop butt! This is my favorite! That's oh, a good one. That's actually, I actually okay. have that saved. Anyway, we have an intro here. It's animated. It looks good for what it is. Did it show Garf living? Was that Florida? Sure, I think so. Chief, we have finished the reconnaissance mission now. Our scout is back. I'm glad they're Italian. He has come to give his report. Hey, I'm a lasagna over here. Oh, is that a monster still around gulping down our fellow creatures? More than ever, Chief, and he is being helped by those strange creatures called the mice. We shall use them to neutralize that orange monstrosity. But how can we approach him, Chief? He's so scared, and he... Silence, Ricotta! You unappetizing lasagna! We shall hypnotize them so they can take care of him or us! It's like the intro to a Bubsy game. <laughs> this is why Italian you Elon Musk wants in his face. <laughs> I gotta destroy the lasagna! Oh, they're tiny. First bug, success. Don't what? forget that the Urano disruptor is set Odie, you fuck up. The house and Please, Odie. You fight. Yes, sir. It is time for our people to hit the back. This is literally the walking water. food, Odie. All you have to do is be a dog. No. Squeak, what are you doing? What? They are hypnotizing the mice to capture you and... What do you mean? They're coming! Run! How awful, oh, Garfield! Oh, what have I gotten myself into? mice are spreading throughout the city. You must return them to their normal state. I guess we gotta. And how am I supposed to do that? By using my incredible charm? By singing them a lullaby? I don't even know where they're hiding. 
much simpler than that Garfield. I've noticed that my hypnotized friends don't, <laughs> they don't feel any pain. A few blows to the head. <laughs> These rats are all on PCP. Jesus. <laughs> that doesn't sound too complicated. I could probably finish by lunchtime. I've marked a few places on this map. Choose a place to confront a group of mice. Once you've accomplished your objectives, I'll give you more information. Let's go. All right, let's confront that group of mice over here, I guess. Pizzeria DeVito. Some mice are hiding in the Pizzeria DeVito. Let's catch them. Okay. Use the lasso to catch the mice. Fun man, Jesus. Steal the cakes and take them to the mice on the edge of the table. God help me, this game actually uses Wii Motion Plus, so if you have one of those, congratulations, there's a third game you can use it with. After uh, Wii Sports and Red Steel 2. <laughs> Luckily it has support for the regular one. Yeah, Peter, uh, yeah, Garfield does sound very much like, oh no, Dr. Connor's class. <laughs> he does have that kind of laziness sound to his voice, though, so that's, that's appropriately Garfieldian. No, it's a motion game. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is a motion-controlled minigames compilation from what I've seen. A la Rayman and his hated rabbits. I fucking hate the rabbits. You know they have an arcade game. <laughs> they're like shitty minions. Open your eyes, people. That's true, they're both French. They both scream. Alright, so for this freaking game, you gotta twist the Wii Remote and then make your thing... You gotta make it charge up and then you gotta do the mice and then you swing them and, like, rope them up. That's basically it. I'm pretty sure there's a minigame in Rabbids that's exactly like this. And this is up to four player, so four of your Garf-loving friends can join in. Well, Buttman is doing really well. Yeah, Buttman's kicking ass. Yeah, you gotta spin the Wii Remote to get it all nice and going, then you hit A, and then you hit A again to grab. Okay, so, interesting fact from Electric Boogaloo here. Uh -huh. From uh, Electric Boogaloo here. Uh, Eco Software, uh, the devs behind this, were originally a team within Cryo Interactive, who spun off when Cryo closed and became independent. Oh my god, so these people worked with David Cage at, at one point. So this is, let's just say David Cage worked on this. Yeah. I know it's not true, but this is This game is a result of David Cage existing. Mm -hmm. This is David Cage's, uh... His legacy. Mm -hmm. Does anyone play this? Anyone have any, any experience? with this game. Uh, is Dave, you know what? I bet David Cage. David Cage seems like a Garfield fan. I, I bet he has a Garfield room. <laughs> Garf, no. Oh, Tufa. Press X to hate Mondays. It's kind of hard to twirl the thing. Maybe it would be easier if I had a Wii Motion Plus. That's what I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, they were formed in 1999, so that means that David Cage wasn't there. I don't want to believe. I'm That's sorry, but shame. I don't want to believe reality. Reality I'm, I'm gonna, sucks. I'm going to say this is a David Cage joint. I refute your reality and replace it with my own, in which David Cage is a big Garfield fan. <laughs> He's a massive Garfield fan. <laughs> Man. We did it. Take a bow, folks. Well, they beat you up. I don't know if we did it. How could I have done that better? I don't think it's possible. I thought I was winning too! Garfield loses? By which metric? Well, I think you may have had to catch them faster, but again, I don't know how you could have gone any faster. Okay, well, let's try that again. Oh, well, we can go to the butcher shop too. Some mice have entered the butcher shop. Let's see what they're up to. Get rid of the clingy mice. Attack by jumping, by jumping on, on Garfield. Oh, okay. Clinging on. Oh, no, I see what this is. This is a 1v3 kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, one player's Garfield, the other is the bastard mice. The Wii Balance Board! Does this game just use every peripheral? Does it use a gun? It <laughs> better. I want to see Garfield just fucking... Reproduce Garfield's movements, so... Shake back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, 
okay. Suddenly, Weka Garfield's starting to look pretty good. We don't. Ha- I don't even know where the balance board is. It's under the bed. I say you can go to any thrift store and buy twenty. Yeah, if you ever need a balance board, boy, Goodwill's got you covered. Shake, shake! Get off my nuts, please! Oh my God. They are Stop. in your nuts. Are you shaking the remote? Should I? I don't. I thought that okay. this mouse is not. It's like he's clinging. He's he's on it. Okay, I'm shaking. Yeah, you gotta shake, shake. It looks like only the rats can uh, aim. All right. Oh, okay. So, gar- do they have to attach him there? Do they really have to attach him there in that spot? Rats on my nuts. Rats on my nuts. Literally all you do in this game is shake the Wii Remote with your Garfield. <laughs> you shake the rats from your nuts. <laughs> oh, oh man, come- no, come on. Please don't jiff this. That's- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's an there early might, Friday there, today. There might be kids watching. Oh, I hope not. We put the alert and put a thing before our show that says only mature audiences. Odie is just traipsing around back there, having a good old time, while I'm getting I... my nuts attacked by mice. By PCP-addicted mice. Here, stop! Stop saying things mice are addicted. You don't know if they're on PCP. I bet the only drug they're on is the PSP. They're high on life. Mm-hmm. And Garfield's nuts. <laughs> Why does this exist, Alex? A week of Garfield is better than this. Uh, Garfield caught in the act is better than this. That one fucking Amiga game where he kept making that creepy face whenever he picked up something, that was better than this. Oh, that was way better. Garfield. At least I was doing something in that game other than just shaking a thing. <laughs> I hate when you shake them off your fucking... The a- I hate when they cling onto it. They directly aim on it. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty sure Garfield is neater. That's true. He's not getting anything out of this. <laughs> Despite the look on his face. Yeah, he's making some faces. Oh, if you love waggling, if this you is love, the game for you. If you have some weird Garfreak things, you will love this. You like feet, Ugh. you like rats, this is for you. Christ almighty. Oh, they're back to normal now. Yeah, they're fine. Well, that's one of the worst things we've ever streamed on this show. I'm know. sorry you had to see that. Well. Oh, boy. I want to get a lot of the chat neutered. <laughs> Go to church, people. Bravo! You have freed a group of mice. Bravo! But many more still need your help. Hurry up. Go to the different places shown on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any other place I can go? Oh, bowling with Odie! The mice is hiding in John's place. Steer Odie to shake off the mice. I can steer Odie. Yeah, just do this. Okay. Somehow I think you got the better end of the deal in this week's stream. <laughs> like that platformer game? That looked pretty good. Honestly, I think I did play the better games. I gotta be real here. Garfield's showing a moment of weakness. This is a time for Heathcliff to show up and really show him how it's done. So I'm really looking forward to that Heathcliff Wii game. This looks like it plays like shit. Yeah. The mice's motivations, uh, if you didn't pay attention, which you should have, Video Game King, is that, uh... They are hypnotized to ruin Garfield's time because the space lasagnas are pissed off at Garfield and, you know, eats lasagna, and... Oh, I see. You gotta steer Odie into the... Yeah, you gotta steer Odie into the mice. Can I restart this? I didn't want to... I want to min-max this game. Boy, this is taking me back. Remember when all the games for the Nintendo Wii were like this? Like, literally all of them? It really was bad. 
Let's go bowling. A group of mice. Okay, now we got this. Steer Odie. What's some other recent Garfield news? Uh, uh, there was the Lost Comics. There was Garfield Cart Two announced. Oh yeah, uh, there was of course the uh, Toronto-based Garfield uh, Enter Engagement app. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty recent too. Yeah, don't forget. I think that's open now. So if you want, you can go and. Everyone talking about that Garfield. All right, in this game, you gotta guide the helicopter around to make Odie follow it and run over the rats. Is it fun? No. I do appreciate that it's not traditional multiplayer. I appreciate that one one, one player is given a different task than the other three. That does give it a slightly different feel than the other multiplayer party games. It gives it the edge over Imagine Party Babies, I can tell you that much. It is better than Imagine Party Babies. That's that for sure, I can say. But is it better than Celebrity Showdown? That's the question. Oh yeah, the Garfield phones were washing up on beaches and... Oh, that too, yeah! Weird. Yeah, there was a, a derelict storage crate of Garfield phones that was lost off the coast of France years ago. And in the decades since, phones have been washing up on the beach and nobody knew why. They found them. Also, I, thought, I think it was either in France. Was it in France that happened? Yeah, I think it was France. French Riviera, beautiful Garfields, as far as the eye can see. Oh, I know about the Garfield shaped pizza. Run, run. You can get that at Garfield Eats. Oh, oh, oh. Um, is anyone here in the area? Um, is anyone here, like in in, in in the area of Canada, where you can actually enter gauge with the Garfield Eats uh, restaurant? Because I want to know what it's like. Listen, uh, that, that Garfield phone thing may have been a year ago, but we are tight on it's Garfield. It's still fairly Eats. recent. Yeah, it's still fresh on our minds. We will never forget it. I think I'm gonna win this one. Buttman wins again. Thanks, Buttman. So I've got a hot take for you. Garfield games from the 80s and 90s, way better than modern Garfield games. That one DS game accepted. Can you disagree? I will never disagree. Uh, well done, okay. You oh, was it so long ago it was in the previous Garfield stream? Oh, God. God. So Look. Again, there's This is none. a once in a lifetime thing. We have to discuss it as much as possible. Three mice are getting away in the Alright, we're gonna play this minigame and then we're gonna move on to Heathcliff, who I think has a good chance of pulling ahead of Garfield. Zigzag All Heathcliff has to do is not eat shit bonuses. at the kart racing genre. Yeah, I heard about the review of Garfield Eats and how it was not good and how it was actually pretty me mediocre. Point uh, and twist. It's also pretty pricey too for like mediocre food. Yeah, but Garfield. And it apparently only uses extremely local ingredients, which is why it's so pricey. But oh. Mediocre. So, we need to go to Toronto and eat that. Garfield is all about locally sourced produce. Can someone get me a passport and an airline ticket and money for pizza? I promised to make a clickbait YouTube video with my face on the thumbnail, being all like, I went to Canada for Garfield? Oh, that's actually news. Uh, Paws Incorporated closed their studios, and now all the Paws employees work from home. Oh, wow. That's actually news. That is news. Paws Incorporated is the basically the Garfield Corporation. That's who does the art, the uh, the comic. I think I know. I know the comic is like a little bit Jim Davis and mostly assistants right now. Oh, hey. twist the remote to my Okay. Good. Good luck, Danny. Yeah. So you gotta eat the food and avoid the garbage? Yeah, just like real life. Mm. Yeah, so you're you, always running into garbage. You do this by twisting the Wii Remote, which is not a traditionally traditional thing you do with the thing. I mean, it is possible. Some games have made you do it. Man, that actually does suck about, uh... About, uh... Uh, 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 what you call it, pausing, going uh, from home only. Cause that was like a big, that was a big part of uh, that part of Indiana, if I recall. I don't think it was like a massive player or anything, but 
Man. Times are changing. End of an era, everyone has to work from home now. No one wants Garfield anymore, they just want Heathcliff. Heathcliff where, really speaks to the millennials. So. Where, where are these bonuses they speak of? So far it's just like, crap. Okay, hey, there's one. Oh, lasagna coming up. So this, this would be interesting for the other players because you're given helpful items and hurtful items and you need to like throw the helpful items away from Garfield. Oh man, I wonder, uh, apparently Paws Inc. had a massive Garfield merch collection on site. I wonder, in like an archive of it, I wonder what happened to that. You think that's just in Jim Davis' house now? Yeah, probably. How many, how big do you think Jim Davis's house is? It's a 20-story estate. Oh, wow. Full of Garf merchandise. I'm doing horribly at this. I'm not gonna beat this. Even as far as minigame compilations go, this is not especially great. I would expect more from Garfield, frankly. They sold the merch on eBay, Krungo? Don't lie to me, that would be awful. <laughs> oh, I guess the fans have it now. Oh. Yeah. The fans do adore Garfield. I'm I... sure it's in good hands now. <sighs> Why am I feeling bad about a Garfield merch archive? Better or worse than City Escape? Okay. Well, I'm gonna say that City Escape beats Garfield in this case. Yeah, shake your finger at me, you fuck. Jim Davis's house is on a 21-acre farm. Wow. He, he runs a literal Orson's farm. That's why he does Orson's farm. I'm not clicking on Heathcliff characters. I don't need to know the Heathcliff characters. Garfield loses. Garfield loses. Oh, his house is massive! Quit spying on Jim Davis's house it and give me an to. interstitial screen. It was linked to. Thank you. Ah, Garfield show. Threat of the space lasagna. Finally. Finally, Garfield gets what's coming to him with an extremely uh, underwhelming game. Wasn't horrible. Could have done a lot better, especially considering it's Garfield. But the next game I'm really excited about because this is a real Heathcliff game. This is not a Spot the Differences game. Next up, we're going to play Heathcliff the Fast and the Furriest. This is a kart racing game. It was released exclusively on the Nintendo Wii. Never ported anywhere else. Okay, Danny, don't, don't, don't. This is your do chance, Heathcliff. Don't, don't blow it. None of that spot the differences shit. Garbage ape, tell him to shove it. This is your time to shine. Listen, if they let me, oh, I wish. <laughs> if they let me choose the Cadillac Cats, I will choose the Cadillac Cats. But I have a feeling that's a separate IP. Fitzroy Media. Mm. Hey, oh. Storm City Games, the same people who made Frantic Photo. I'm sure they can make a kart racer. Okay, so slide, deploy weapon, pick up, accelerate, decelerate. Oh, oh looks you... like you need a... Yeah, you gotta hold it like a... No, you need the, uh, the nunchuck. Oh, I do? Yeah, they had a nunchuck for steering if you're not using the wheel. Oh, I can just use motion controls. Okay, well, good luck. I know nothing about this game. I tested it up to see if it worked. That's my extent of it. I hope this really expands the Heathcliff universe. <laughs> <laughs> go to friend! <laughs> this is good. This is unnecessary detail. That's a good sign. Uh, yeah, we talked about that earlier in Video Game King. There is a sequel, Garfield Kart Game, coming out. Yep, coming out for PC, Switch... PS4 and Xbox One. What? What is that? What is that lumpy potato Heathcliff doing here? He turns down a little and what? That's a little bit better. No way, use the potato man. Okay. Thank you. His name is Potato. I love you, Potato. Potato Cliff. Here we got some options here. Oh. Okay. The fish is in his mouth! Fishbone, yeah. He's chewing on it like a fucking... Like a cigar. Yeah, like a cigarette coming out of his mouth. And it's pretty edgy, you know. He's basically the James Dean of cats. Story mode. I've got to see the story of this game. What kind of story could you possibly have in Heathcliff? The cart racer. All right, so there's some aliens. Uh, 
discovered Earth. And they discovered Heathcliff. Oh no, they captured Sonia. You rascals! Oh, we have to beat them through competition. And his dog friend is gonna help too. God, they have such weird designs here. They do. It's like semi-modernized, but not really. Oh, well that's the story. Oh yeah, I, apparently even Tai Tuesday couldn't get into this, so this is... Aw, oh, damn it! Yeah, this is <laughs> I want really this to bad. be good! This should be Heathcliff's defining moment! Damn it, Storm City Games! That was one of the power-ups I got. He's <laughs> making weird noises. Maybe one of the power-ups turns this car into a lowrider. That would be cool. Those are just hot dogs that said Zoinks next to them. That's, That's cool. pretty wacky. Well, this isn't the worst-looking Wii game I've seen. It's fairly colorful, kind of detailed. I guess it looks like the source material. Heathcliff Shield. I think we want to see the Cadillac Cats again. You have to get in contact with their original creator because it's an entirely separate team and entirely separate IP from the uh, Heathcliff IP. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're any of the rival racers either. I think it's just aliens. Yeah. Wasted opportunity, right? How does it control? It controls fine. It's motion controls. It's pretty much just they ripped off Mario Kart. Uh, thanks for the resub. Hey. We're glad you like our show. Oh, nice, controlling. thank you. That lady's yeah, pass in front of me. Oh my god, you do have a gun! Yeah, he has a gun. This is 187 Ride or Die now. Oh, this sucks. Now, when was the last time you heard anyone yeah, reference 187 Ride or Die? I, I, unfortunately not enough. I don't think the children know about Ride or Die. I don't think the millennials... That was, that was a kart racer for grown-ups, I tell you what. This is doing nothing. <laughs> well, you need to aim better. What? I had 30 shots and they all missed. Thank God, honestly. Imagine Heathcliff with a gun. No! Hey, you don't have to imagine, it's real. Ooh, he's cloaked. Where is he? Look at this rubber banding. That's shameful. Let's see, chat says, Frumple says, I should say, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but this is no Garfield card. It really hey, isn't. Watch where you're going. So here's the thing, I actually do have a copy of Carfield Kart on Steam because they sell it for 99 cents like every other week. Uh, hey, but the choice going. was between making Alex play DS games or making him set up a PC game for play on stream. And I decided to be nice and make him play DS games. Hey! Watch where you're going! I guess someday we'll have to cover Garfield Kart. Maybe it'll be after the sequel releases, we can compare and contrast. And maybe there will be a modding scene where they replace Garfield with Heathcliff. And then you can get your Cadillac cats you want so much. Ah, they were created, uh, they were created, uh, the Cadillac cats were created at Deke, uh, by Jean Shalopin and Bruno. No, it was a Deke original, so they weren't part of the original strip. No, I, th I think they were, I, I, because they're credited separately in the, in the credits, like the Cadillac cats. And <laughs> originally, like, this was called Cat and Cats and Company. It but seems they... like it was just a separate thing, and then they got the Heathcliff license, and so they just tacked that shit on. I don't, I don't know anything about the history of it. Man, hey, the Cadillac Cats could have been going? something. It really should have been something. Instead, they just stood in the shadow of giants. Oh, God, all the overlying music. Yeah, it needs at least three more music tracks playing at the same time. I hate that you just have a gun, and you're just fucking shooting it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they really should reboot Cadillac Cats for the modern era. 
for the millennials, for the Zoomers. For hey, the... They, they have that edge. They mm-hmm. got that sexy girl cat. People are all into that now. And they love her. Cleo. Cleo, yes. Cleo. And then there was uh, Mongo. Mm-hmm. And then there was... Um... No, sorry, I don't remember any of the other I, ones. I don't care about the other ones. All about that Cleo and Mongo. There was also Heathcliff and Marmaduke. No one remembers that show, but... No one should. Oh, they've appeared in the Heathcliff comics? I have to see this, Danny. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, they have made cameo appearances. But, again, they're kind of playing fast and loose with licensed characters, so who even knows? Are people Uh, just afraid to tell Heathcliff no? Because he's been around for a million years? You've seen Garbage Ape. Would you tell him no? Yeah, fair point. Hey, we're at an amusement park. That's in San Francisco? Listen... San Francisco is an amusement park for the rich. That's my political take of the day. Damn. Uh, here's the second Golden Gate Bridge. That one's green. Mm-hmm. Alright, so serious question time. Which is the better Wii game? Garfield in the Space Lasagna or Heathcliff Fast and the Furious? I think we have an actual competition here because neither game is especially good. I. Hmm. I mean, at least this isn't a mini game compilation, right? They tried something different, even if that something is just another easily cloned formula. Let's see, Heathcliff is packing heat. Uh, Garfield by a wide margin. Okay, so this game was developed by the India-based uh, EC Interactive, with some design by the Serbian uh, developer, Apex. Oh, interesting. It is a multinational production. This is the Coffin Dodgers level of kart racer. Well, That's true, nothing has grabbed onto Heathcliff's uh, uh, groin area. So. Yeah, that hasn't happened, and I don't think it's going to happen either. I think Heathcliff has more class than that. Yeah, no one's slapping Heathcliff's junk here. No one is aiming directly for it and then just clinging onto it for dear life. I wish there were more people to shoot. That's true. We- Danny, please don't say that. With Heathcliff's gun. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make it any better. That, 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 that makes it extremely worse. Pumpkin. Take that. Take that. You notice how he just kind of mutters under his breath? <laughs> like that. Mario's all like, woohoo, and he's just like, yeah, take that, fucker. I guess Heathcliff is kind of a mutterer. Like, he wouldn't say shit to your face, he do would just do it behind your back. Be sorry. Excuse me, who was that? That's do that again and you'll be sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess both Heathcliff and Garfield love guns. Uh, yeah, they share their love for the Second Amendment. Oh, it sucks. I don't want to think about these characters shooting me. Who keeps wolf whistling at me? <laughs> me! I can't get over this hot, <laughs> hot guy. Like hot cliff. Oh, the dog is wolf whistling at us? Well. I see. Buddy, I'm married. So no thank you. I'm disappointed in you, Heathcliff. I thought you were storing up all your energy for this one big breakout game. So do you think Garfield drags them out into the street and Heathcliff shoots them? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the fatality move, yeah. If Garfield was in Mortal Kombat, that would be his finishing move. See, I hate this so much. Yeah, Heathcliff this is would, not great. Heathcliff would just get the garbage ape to knock you around. I wish this had garbage ape, but I'm pretty sure this was, uh, this was, uh, let's see, uh, uh, BGA, before garbage ape. <laughs> You know, Garbage Ape uh, dramatically disappeared in 2017. He had one final comic. I thought he's not still appearing? Yeah, it was all like, there goes Garbage Ape, uh, bless him. It made it sound really final, like he was going off to his death or something. Oh man, I thought I'd seen a recent one, but it must have been my imagination. Well, 
I've I've seen all I need to see about this game, and yet we've still got 20 minutes of stream to go. Garbage Ape still shows up. Okay. Oh, okay, good. So he died and came back. He is risen. Now we're in Heathcliff's hometown. Well, we need something holy for this god-awful forsaken stream. You know, I do have more games planned, just in case these games didn't take up the full two hours, but that would be officially going off the rails. And you'll be sorry. And you'll be sorry. And we're being threatened, so maybe we should. If we stream our next games, none of y'all are gonna like it. All of you are gonna be very unhappy. Which is why we should do it. Alex, put up an interstitial for me. <laughs> so mean. So, in the battle of Garfield versus Heathcliff on Wii... Uh, kind of a push. Uh, the Heathcliff cart game was just okay. The Garfield game was also okay. Well, I did have one other brand of cat games to show off. No. Well, we've seen Garfield. We've seen Heathcliff. But another battle was waging on the Game Boy Advance between one cat. It was Inner Turmoil. We're going to finish this stream off by doing something I wish I didn't have to do, but circumstances demand it. This is the cat in the hat versus the cat in the hat. All right, so let this also be a uh, a warning to anyone who wants to play cat in the hat games on GBA. There's one good game and one game you don't want to play. Uh, the first game I'm going to show off is called Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. The other one is called Dr. Seuss's Cat in the Hat. <laughs> They're literally two different games. Here we go. So this is the one you may want to uh, show your kids if they're the Cat in the Hat fans. See, look, it takes it takes art direct from the book. Oh yeah, the presentation is widescreen because this is GBA. Okay, Garfield versus Heathcliff Gaiden, Cat in the Hat versus Cat in the Hat on GBA. Man, man versus self, classic literary trope. Mm -hmm. Cat versus self, I should say. Let's play this. Okay. Look at him. Ugh, I don't like that, but mm, stop okay. that, dude. Okay, this could be normal. <laughs> have no fear or tricky. <laughs> I have no fear. So Keep shortly- Keep dad is an escaped convict?! Oh, cool. Anyways, what are you gonna say, Danny? Now, before the battle was waging between Heathcliff and Garfield on DS, there was the GBA with two distinctly different Cat in the Hat games. Now this is pretty much a direct adaptation of the original book by Dr. Seuss with uh, art that isn't the same, but recalls the basic look of it. There he is! I hate him. Actually, he doesn't look that bad. Sorry, I was so hasty to judge there. <laughs> so the original story of this book is kids are left home alone, uh, mom and dad are out, and a magical cat comes around to, to have fun, to show that they can have fun on a rainy day. Let's play Up 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 with a fish. Okay. And look at this, this is a direct reference to the book. He does this at one point, and only they're making it playable. It is just a simple mini game, sure, but it does tie into the book, it's thematically appropriate, and the art looks nice. Oh, it's like for babies, this game. Excuse me, adults can enjoy it too. Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't claim that this is for children. This game about a children's book for... Sophisticated adults can enjoy the cat in the hat as much as the kids can. You're right, it, it's, for, it's, it's fun for the whole family. Yeah. From ages 8 to 108. Oh, look out. Don't let him fall, Cat in the Hat. I did it. Beautiful. <laughs> of course, it never ends when you're the Cat in the Hat. Yes! Let's do one more mini game. Let's go in here. Oh, Fun in a Box! I love Fun in a Box. <laughs> That's me. Oh, we gotta help Thing 1 and Thing 2. Oh my god, it's a platformer. Well, here we are. Oh boy. How's it play? Oh, not good. Not good at all. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, I have been linked to something that says Shocking Revelation, so this better be normal. 
what is this shocking revelation about Heathcliff? Uh, it's Heathcliff. Uh, he goes into his closet and is filled with a bunch of cat heads and he puts different ones on. Oh my god. You got Hello Kitty, Sylvester, Cat in the Hat, Garfield, Felix. Uh, so he sec he's secretly every cat? Uh huh. The cat from Mutz and another cat who I do not recognize. And he's just. So he's got his different fursuit heads. He must be rich. Yeah, he's making all that money. Oh, okay, can't. so this game was developed by Game Titans, who Electric Boogaloo mentions did the Jazz Jack Rabbit GBA game. Alright, so they had some experience with platformers. This is not a great game, but it is for kids. And it's a direct adaptation. Let's do this other stage, I guess. Ah, it's Scratchy from Itchy and Scratchy, not, not Itchy. Itchy is the mouse, sorry. I, I show my that I'm a fake Simpsons fan once again. You sure are. Mm -hmm. Like, this seems... it's not great, but I mean, we've played worse, it looks like. This is definitely acceptable. This is GBA quality, for sure. Now, we did play a couple of Garfield GBA games with our last stream, and those weren't especially good, either. Not sure if we can call those better than this, though. We made it home. This seems like a game for toddlers. And you it know is. What? That's okay. There, catch me. There. Fitting uh -huh. in to thing one and thing two. <laughs> catch him, too. Game over. Oh no. Oh. They've been. They've been All right, throw up, throw up a screen for me. There's so so that that game right there is called The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. There's a second game called Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat. This is the one you want to avoid at all costs. No. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. We're not playing this. Uh, this, 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 this is this I'm sorry. Over. We had some extra time, so it Wow. Has, wow. We, we have to do this. Uh-huh. Really, sweetie? Yep. Sweetie. Now this, of course, is a, is a different sweetie. adaptation of The Cat in the Hat. This is based on the feature film that came out several years ago. It's live action! Ah! I'm bored, Conrad. I don't like days like this. Can't do anything. Mom took away my- took my video games away. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, I forgot this had a weird plot about like a weird step parents and something like that, yeah. And then can the hat was It is just one of those rainy days. Mm. Well, kids. <laughs> how about I show you how to have fun when mom is gone? <laughs> ah! Same, same. God. <laughs> no. That's the perfect reaction. Ah! All right, hands up. Who saw this movie? I did. We did. We, we saw did. it together. Yeah, we saw it. me and Alex have seen this movie a couple of times. We, we, it's we, really bad. We had we we, ha we found some Bud Budweisers in the back of the fridge, and it was like 4 a.m. and we just watched this. Yeah, and it sucked. That's the same way I watched The Grinch too, the uh, <laughs> the live action Grinch. Ugh. Yeah, they did make a GBA game based on the Mike Myers Cat in the Hat film. Well, Conrad was won over quickly. So what you need to know about the, the film, the Cat in the Hat film, if you haven't seen it, it is horny? It's really horny. It is stupidly horny. His umbrella gets an erection. Stop, his hat gets an erection. Oh, it's or, his hat, right. Yeah. And then he goes to a dance club and meets Paris Hilton. And he's like, oh la la. I did not like that film. Uh, a lot of people saw this film and they did not like it. Uh, people saw it for free and they didn't like it. I don't believe you, Cat. I'm going to open it right now. <laughs> Right after being told that he shouldn't open it. The dirty hoe joke, yes. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that was in the trailer. That was a bad fucking movie. And, of course, you control the... Yikes! Uh, Turn it off! The horribly distended and chubby Mike Myers He's cat stabbing. in the hat. No, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like Mike Myers' ass. No, stop! Stop it! Okay, so Digital Eclipse worked on this, and uh, Electric Boogaloo mentions that Mike Mika and Chris Charlo worked on this. So. Oh man, Great. 
We have 100 bits from Ed, Ed, and Ed. Thank you. It says, I saw this an unfortunate amount of times as a kid. I have battle scars knowing <laughs> cool. this film scenes very well. Oh my god, I forgot. There are some of you who weren't like like fucking asshole 20-somethings when they saw us, saw this like I was. Yep, oh. some people saw this when they were kids. The right age group for it and everything. <sighs> Oh so, my god! So you can reach out and poke things with your finger, which makes them encased in a bubble, and then you gotta stomp on them. Oh my god, I just realized a bunch of kids grew up with those weird nihilist 2000s awful kids movies. I'm so Is sorry. it any wonder the pickle we're in? <laughs> America-wise? <laughs> you can't- no, you can't put this evil on- on, uh, fucking Master of Disguise. Can't I? You can try, but... Yeah, this game's really unfortunate. This was a time when, if you had a movie, it had to be a GBA game. And unfortunately, Cat in the Hat was part of that whole thing. So how's this? Um, well, it's it's a platformer. It's not especially bad or good. It's better than anything Heathcliff came up with, I'll give you that. Shrek is bizarrely more positive than any of like the Master than the Master of Disguise or the Grinch or the Cat in the Hat, especially the Cat in the Hat, which is just pure nihilism. Yeah, I'd much rather my kids watch Shrek. Shrek at least ha pretends to have some sort of moral to it about beauty standards. So yeah, the Cat least... in the Hat is just loud and hateful, from what <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Not something you associate with Dr. Seuss. Blab, yes, uh, that was during the Turtle Club scene where they had that moment of silence. <laughs> that is the best bit of movie trivia. I just picture him actually dressed up as the turtle guy. <laughs> just bowing his head respectfully. So, you're in these large platformer levels, which are kind of non-linear. They're exploration-based. There's enemies you fight, and then you stomp on them with your butt after you encase them in a bubble. Uh, yeah, Tamelon was gonna be the cat in the hat, but, uh, but then he ended up snitching on Shrek, and, uh... <laughs> no, no, oh, he was gonna be Shrek? Okay, I, I have no clue. I just wanted to make a snitch joke. Okay, cool. There's a PS2 Xbox platformer to go along with this as well, so Danny? Oh, okay, if we ever do this on Mascot Friday, we have to do that one. We should do a Dr. Seuss-themed stream, and it's gonna be hell. It will be hell. I can't think of any good Dr. Seuss games. I mean, this one's playable, if not remarkable. I think there are any good ones from, like, the multimedia era? Maybe. Like, from before? Is there secretly a good Dr. Seuss CDI game? I fucking hate how that one thing keeps just... Yeah, that's annoying. ...blustering out on you. Ugh. Everything always blustering out on me. There we go. Hey, I did it. Hey. The weird thing is, I think this is technically a better game than the other Cat in the Hat game, but it's also a nightmare. I wouldn't wish this on any kid. Like, if they're a fan of the book, I am getting them the other one for sure. But it's such an easy mistake to make, they're both called Dr. Seuss's Cat in the Hat. Just slightly different. Oh, I'm glad someone mentioned it. Uh, Uzi mentions that Audrey Geisel, Dr. Seuss's widow, was so furious after she saw Cat in the Hat that she legally forbade Hollywood from making any more live-action adaptations of Dr. Seuss books. No, that was the thing. Good. That's why it took Universal so long to make that, like, horny Onceler movie or whatever. The horny Onceler. You know, the Lorax, where everyone was like, wow, this Whoa, is... Oh, shit. He's gone ape shit. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah. A lot of really unfortunate things have been done in Dr. Seuss's name. Least, not least of all, this game. Just, come on. Here's what I'm wondering. Why wasn't there a, uh, you don't mess with the Zohan platformer? Because that was, that's not a movie for children! Well, neither is Cat in the Hat. I mean, true, <laughs> true. I think I got lost at some point, now I don't know where to go in this children's game. I was hoping I could beat at least one level. Maybe we need to upgrade to the PS1 version to do that. Yeah, Cat in the Hat is, is a movie for no one. It really is. I can't think of anyone who would enjoy it. Like, if you're a fan of the source material, it's just going to disturb you. Listen, I'm not claiming that the Lorax movie was horny. I'm claiming people were very horny for the Onceler, thus I was calling him the Horny Onceler. It is... 
This is a grave don't you dug. Don't twist my words. You dug your own grave here, Alex. I mean, fair, fair. The sexy Lorax grave. <laughs> he really does speak for those trees. Oh my god, I hate this. Yeah, let this be a warning to you. If you don't know history, you're doomed to repeat it. So do not let any more platformers starring Mike Myers get made. Yeah, I heard I heard that the animated uh was that Blue who, who did those? Not Blue Sky, but uh Oh god. They did the they were the same people who did the fucking Despicable Me movies. What's that studio's name? It's just escaping me. Um I think DreamWorks owns them. Illumination! Bless you, comma. Yes, Illumination uh Studios. Their their films They're not that I, I actually God help me, I didn't hate the original Despicable Me. I thought it was fine. Wait, I think I've seen that one. It was okay. Yeah, it was It was okay. It wasn't extremely cursed. It was not cursed. I'm sure Illumination have made cursed films, but from what I've seen of their stuff, it's not incredibly cursed. Let's make less cursed kids' media. Yeah, yeah! Kids yeah. don't have to be ruined at that young of an age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and again, who am I to say about being ruined? I can't finish the first level of Cat in the Hat for GBA. This looks like shit, though. Yeah... I don't know where the exit is. It's just kind of, like, meandering. Maybe I have to go down this way. I am seeing more enemies. It's usually a good sign. Oh, I have not seen the new Grinch movie that Illumination did. I've only seen a couple of the Despicable Me movies, which were... Okay, and... I haven't seen Flushed Away, the one about the rats in the toilet world. <laughs> rats in the toilet world. But yeah, that was Artem, I think. Oh, I had a I had a bouncy thing. Let's do that again. Why is there a dinosaur hatching from an egg back there? That's true, there aren't any slurping noises here at least. Oh true. Very true. There we go, I made it. What's in here? Uh, well, what, what is that? It's your nightmare, sweetie pie. I guess so. You breaking your back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you do? Oh, he has a PDA. Can you, get, can you do phone calls on that? He got solitaire. was the PDA era. Wouldn't be surprised if he had a beeper. <laughs> he has a pager for all the drug deals he does. <laughs> Hold on, kids, I'm getting a page. <laughs> Stop it! Oh god, the cat in the hat laugh! I haven't thought of that in years. Hold on, see if I can go still do it. Yeah, he didn't have an actual laugh. Oh, I can't. He just had a, a horrible wheeze. He's like... <laughs> oh my god, I... Oh, I am... You've lost it. I have. Oh, I... I'm, I'm done with this. I don't want to play anymore. Are I just wanted to give this? a cautionary tale of what to avoid on your GBA. Get the charming Cat in the Hat game, not the Mike Myers nightmare version. <laughs> Unless your kids are into that. Maybe they're freaks. I don't know. Give, give them what they want. I'm not here to tell you how to raise your kids. <laughs> I'm here to warn you about Mike Myers being in a GBA game. <laughs> and with that, I think... We have reached our conclusion. So, so what do we think? Who wins the battle between Garfield and Heathcliff? I am so sorry, Heathcliff. Gotta I, give it to Garf. I gotta give it to Garf. It's it's not even close. Yeah, like on DS, at least they had that one 2.5D platformer, which was pretty clever. Uh, a lot of good level designs, creative use of the license. I thought it was good. All Heathcliff came up with was a spot the differences game. He didn't even show up. There was no no contest there. Mm -hmm. We was a little bit closer. Uh, Garfield had kind of a, a crappy mini game compilation where a lot of the games were annoying and didn't work right. Heathcliff had an okay kart racer, and Alex is making it official. Mm -hmm. The winner is Garfield. <laughs> Though the real winner is anyone who is not Mike Myers. <laughs> Mean but so, fair. So here are our power rankings. Garfield, number one. Mm -hmm. Heathcliff, number two. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Myers is the cat in the hat, uh, way down at the bottom of the list. He's number 5,000 or something. Dead last. Dead last. Mm -hmm. 